Hi guys, um, so today I'm unboxing June's Degusta box. Uh, again, it's really heavy. So let's get into it. Um, I haven't obviously opened it yet. We'll see what's in it this time. I think I did cheat last time actually. I think I'd had a look beforehand. Or was it the time before? I can't remember. Okay, start things off. Um, ooh, I like the sound of this. Some butter kissed yogurt coated popcorn. Now I do like butter kissed popcorn. Um, but I've never tried yoghurt coated, but I am going to the cinema tomorrow evening, so this is coming with me. Good stuff. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We've got... Whatever the heck this is. It is cloudy lemonade. Um, all natural ingredients, low sugar, and it's... Why is, I think that says Zio. Yeah, actually you can see what it says easier in the camera than you can up close. But yeah, I mean, it's a really interesting shaped bottle. But I do like lemonade, so... Oh, it's actually even got like... I don't think that's going to be picked. Oh, well, you can just about. It's like, um... It's not completely round and straight. It's got like designs coming down through it. Okay, what else do we have? This is also quite heavy. I think this is pickled onions. Yep, I'm so glad this didn't crack and break because it would have absolutely reeked. Um, I never ever think to buy pickled onions, but I do quite like them. I mean, they're the sort of thing that sit in your fridge for a billion years, but it's not supposed to eat them within six weeks. Does anyone eat a whole jar of these within six weeks? Like, even between a family of four, I feel like that would be a challenge. Right. Okay. Oh, we've got some more butter kissed. Oh, they've sent us a little mini packet, which means I can try it before I take it to the cinema. Nice work. Um, oh, we've got something that's a bit squished. Smooths. Fruit ice, coconut and mango. Oh, okay. It's made with freshly pressed coconut milk. So this is like a... What the hell are they called? The triangle... Um, I'll just open it. What are they called? I want to say like sunburst, but maybe that's not the right thing. It's these, these gibbers that you put in the freezer. So like ice lollies. I like, really like the flavours of coconut and mango, so I'm quite excited to try these. Uh, the box is a bit bashed up, but that doesn't really matter because uh, thankfully, thankfully, you can't really damage those. Um, okay, so we've got a chocolate brownie uh, mug mix so you put this in a mug add some butter and water and bake it in the microwave for 60 seconds hmm I've never seen I've seen like um sachets but I've never seen a a tub of that but I'm quite excited to try that good stuff I'll go through pricing at the end FYI um, okay so we've got some crafted lager King Star. Never heard of that brand before. Um, enjoy a spicy herbal nose and crisp quaffable elixir. <laughs> I'll try that though. Okay, so we have some American Smokehouse homemade burger mix. Add to mince, shape burgers, and grill. So it's made by Schwartz. Definitely give that a try. There's bound to be something I don't like, surely. Okay, spicy tomato relish with jalapeno and chili. Now this may not get consumed because that sounds like it would be quite spicy. So there we go, we've had something I'm not convinced on now. What else do we have? We've got some coconut milk with a recipe for Thai green uh, curry on the back but you can use coconut milk for loads of things so I'm sure I'll find something to use that with uh, we also have some pesto pots now I've never tried these but I've always been kind of intrigued by them so instead of having like a whole big jar you have a pot and you use the pot for each individual meal that you are making 
They've got it on some pizzas, some fish or chicken, and stirring into pasta, so a couple of little ideas there. I'll use that, I like pesto a lot. And then the last item in the box are some waffle crisps. Finest butter biscuits. Um, okay, so they're like little biscuit -y efforts. Which I'm quite excited to try that as well. Oh, what a good box. Everything's been really exciting and interesting. Okay, so let's go through some pricing. Okay, so the onions are 189, the Branston's um, barbecue tomato pickle. Um, so this is a good alternative to ketchup, great on burgers and stuff. Uh, that's 165. The uh, coconut milk would have been 199. The Swartz, Swartz uh, burger mix 149. This um, heavy ass bottle of uh, cloudy lemonade would have been 275. Probably wouldn't buy it for that, uh, no matter how good it is. Um, I feel like that's quite a lot to spend on lemonade. Um, these Scala uh, pesto pots would be 279. Again, kind of expensive. Um, Butter kissed popcorn. Um, six of these little packets uh, retails for 169. The big bag is 149. Uh, the Brownie in a mug, £1.50. This would be £1.70. The biscuits, £1.10. The biscuits, £1.10. And the smooths, which is the freeze at home things, um, would be £2.50. And I don't know how many you got. Let me have a look. You got five. So I mean, it's not in in terms of how expensive these normally are, these sorts of things. It is quite expensive, uh, but in terms of if you think, well, that's fifty p each, that's fine, isn't it? Really, uh, and it is made with better quality ingredients. So quite excited to try those. I'm that might be one of my favourite things. I think that I'm excited for. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really good box. Uh, it has got a couple of recipes in more detail on the back there for you to go for um, shall I add all I did this last time I think I added it all up to see how much all this all these products would come to if you were to buy them in the shop um, to see I think I pay I, I keep getting it wrong it's 12.99 for this box a month um, right so let's add all this up and see what it would be Right, so it would be £21.13 pence if you were to buy all these items at full price. Um, now, obviously, you wouldn't necessarily do that, um, and some of these items you wouldn't necessarily pick up, especially not, for me personally, that lemonade. But I think the fun of trying all these items and the fact that you are still technically saving money on if you went and bought most of these items, um, I think it's a good deal. So, yeah, um, I do definitely think it's worth it, and I must say, I do enjoy getting these boxes and trying all these new items and... You know, just mystery boxes are fun, what can I say? Um, I will be getting next month's Degusta box. Um, this is a barbecue box, that's what they've dubbed this. Um, I don't know what the next theme is, but I'll be buying it, so look out for that. Um, and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.